Council member Rafael Salamanca Jr. and Comptroller Scott Stringer organized a protest demanding the completion of the decade-long construction of the Roberto Clemente Plaza at East 149th Street. And we're telling Department of Design and Construction, get your act together, complete this plaza, and give this land back to the people of the South Bronx. Be a bright green space for this community in what should be a local hub for local businesses and pedestrians. But instead of that vibrancy, we are standing in a spot that over the course of its years of construction has created vehicle and pedestrian traffic, congestion, and has prevented people from accessing the local businesses. If this were happening in another community, Riverdale, the Lower East Side, the Upper East Side, with the city of New York, would the mayor have allowed for this project to be delayed time in and time out? Absolutely not. I mean, we've been told many different things over many years. Uh, sometimes it's a problem with the contractor. Sometimes there's starts and stops. Uh, I can tell you that this is a bungled project, something that should have been completed years ago. We stand with the community today to hold uh, the city accountable for failure to open up this plaza in a timely fashion. Bronx representatives shared the residents' frustrations with delays and mismanagement of this long-awaited plaza. It's the initial project was more than $12 million. They went over because somebody went in bankruptcy. And then the city had to pay back. You know who the city is? We are the city. We are the taxpayers. We have to stop this, and this has to stop now. We cannot wait anymore. Behind me there's a sign that says equity. That's something that our neighborhood hasn't had in a very long time. The residents here have been without approximately 12,000 square feet of public space, which is detrimental. Uh, on top of that, be because of the construction site, we've had businesses close. Uh, we've had an uptick in crime. One local store changed its name to Plaza Discount in hopes of more pedestrian traffic, but were instead faced with business decline. We are just pushing, pushing, pushing. How long I will push it? So many stores are closed in this neighborhood, you know, because high rent, and the high taxes. Last two years, I asked the people working here, I said, when do you are going to open? Oh, in one month, two months, one month, two months. It's all four and a half years. The government is not going to subsidize my business. Closed sidewalks and blocked paths have also proven to be a danger for many commuters who are forced to walk around the area as a result of the obstruction. It's very dangerous. They should have a, a, um, some that you can walk through and stuff because, I mean, any car could just come boom and hit you. What are they waiting for, an accident to happen? I mean, they need to fix it fast, you know, because it's been a while closed down and stuff like that. You got people and kids walking on the side, you know. They, they should fix that soon. This is actually a bus stop. It should have been fixed this a long time ago. All they did was mess it up putting this here, they messed it up. For elderly people and for regular people that's walking across the street, they need to fix it. Quick. Community leaders say they don't know what the holdup is for Roberto Clemente's plaza's completion. They're waiting for to hear back from the DDC for responsibility. Reporting for BronxNet, Sanji Lopez.